Good evening and welcome back to Factorio, where I am, as ever, joined by Nerdio Gamer. Hello, Nog. Hello, hello. How are you today? Uh, I am much better now that I am able to uh, play computer. Because yes. I had a lot I of know. issues. I know the feeling. Yeah. I know the feeling. Yeah, I had a lot of issues earlier today uh, with my... Uh, my drive just being stuck at 100% usage, which was very annoying. It is fixed now, and we are recording. Yay! Life is good. Yep. Yay. And uh, uh, we have, we have uh, there, there are plans. There but are. The plans are, are weird. Um, uh, and, and they don't work. No, maybe, perhaps. We'll see. Well, um, well, they don't. I can tell you right now. <laughs> uh, so, uh, so yeah. It, the plan was to put down a delivery cannon and shoot capsules at the bases uh, to see if, uh, if it did any damage. Yes. And it was, uh, it was uh, the hedgehog's uh, crazy scheme. Go, go, go back a little bit. Go back a little bit. You see, we, we need power. We need more power. So I'm looking at nuclear power. Yeah. yeah. Nuclear power requires sulfur. Yeah. To mine uranium. Also, lots of things we are doing require sulfur. We do not have any oil. Our oil patch is dead. Yeah, pretty so much. So we need to travel over to the west to get these oil patches, which is next to this huge biter base, which I can't deal with in a tank. By the time I've done a loop and dealt with all the enemies that have attacked me, they've respawned. Yeah, so we were looking sucks. into artillery cannons, which require utility science, which require batteries, which requires oil. So which requires stuck. Yeah, yeah, which which again requires sulfur actually for sulfuric acid. Yes, acids. yeah. So the idea was to put down a delivery cannon and build some delivery capsules mm -hmm. and shoot them at the enemy because it says in Informatron that uh, when a delivery capsule lands on the ground, it damages the area. Um, and most of the resources are destroyed. We won't fill it with resources. We we'll just—it's a waste of resources. But it, it was—it was, it was we worth. We won't fill it with any resources. We'll just launch it empty and see what happens. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But you said it won't work. Why you said it won't work? Uh, no, it won't work because uh, when I try to put down the delivery cannon that I built, it says you must launch a satellite first. Oh. So that's can we why launch it a satellite? What? Can, can we launch a satellite? Is that a thing we can do? Um. No. We need solid requires... rocket fuel. Solid rocket fuel. But other than that, we have everything that we need. Come away, biters. We're under constant attack everywhere as well. They've, they've expanded out and done things. and oh, okay. Yeah. Um, we're, we're not in a good spot right now. But uh, what I'm going to do is, with what little oil is coming in, I am going to uh, make utility science, I think. Uh, because we have the processing units, we have the low density structures. Uh, all we need is flying robot frames, which unfortunately take batteries, which take sulfuric acid. Uh, but everything else that is needed for getting just some science going, we actually already have. Right. Well, I mean, if, if we can launch a satellite, does that count? Do you need to launch one, multiple? I don't know how that works. Uh, it's, it says launch a satellite. Okay. But what does it take to make solid rocket fuel? Uh, what is solid rocket fuel made in? Let's have a look. Uh, let's see. see. Yeah. Takes 10 solid fuel and 10 light oil to make a solid rocket fuel. Oh, that's fuel. not complicated. No. And it's made in a fuel Should refinery. Tap that onto the end of what's currently there and uh, bodge it up just to to try and make things um uh, or, or we go down the artillery cannon route and bombard them from a distance to weaken them and then go in and finish them off but it's uh 
I would say that the artillery route is probably the safer bet because we don't actually know if if uh, if the delivery capsule is going to do any damage. We don't, which is why we should try it for science. That's true. Uh, but and I should smash all the solar panels because I'm smart like that. Try it for science while risking our life because we can't get stuff. Is that? Is that the plan? Well, I, I mean, we can build walls and we can hide behind them for the retaliation. Yeah. We could always try it on a smaller base first. You know, we could try it on a, a small one that's nearby. Yeah. Um, to find out if it works, rather than drop it onto the big mega base and then get pummeled by the retaliation. Yeah. All right. Um, In that case, um, I guess... Don't make any solid rocket. So, oh, I don't have a fuel refinery. Uh, Didn't I build a fuel refinery? What did I do with that? I put it in here. I did. I did. All right. In that case, I guess refinery. I'll make uh, a satellite rocket silo. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Let's do it. All right. Um... So I am going to need a not so random chest, but a chest. Uh, to be put down and stick some stuff in it because I need a lot of space to be able to make that. And solid rocket fuel requires solid rocket fuel and light oil. Don't have any light oil. I do have some light oil actually. Um, and is that made in a fuel refinery as well? Of course it is. See, I need... Oh, a battery was just made. So... We are, we are making some things. <laughs> yeah. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. I have the processing units. Just give me the raw materials. I'm not going to wait for Big uh, electric motors, I have the pipes. We need a thousand steel plate, a thousand concrete. Where is it? We're making concrete. It's here. One, two, three, six, seven. All right, that's a thousand concrete. Just need the steel this pipe. one for a moment. You're actually probably going to go, let's be honest. Yep. Uh, oh, mistake, 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 mistake. Don't do that. There we go. I have to say, I'll be pretty surprised if this works. It, it'll be fine. If you say so. It'll be, it'll be perfect. Uh, but we also need to make the rocket parts. What will the rocket parts need? I don't remember. Kindly emptying it out my press slots. Uh, where is my pocket rocket silo? Where the hell did it go? Okay. Um, you mentioned rocket fuel actually, and uh, I believe that Pete left a wonderful comment saying uh, we should probably look at rocket fuel. Okay. And, uh, I haven't... I 
remember if I replied to it or I think I replied. I did reply to it apparently. Um, uh, yeah, he certainly tried the electric boilers as well and couldn't get enough power out that goes that goes back in there. Um, I did actually try them in my own little game uh, to do it and. You can actually get more power out than you put into the boilers. It does work, which is strange. Okay. Um, but it's not its not worth doing. Um, one standard boiler uh, with the, the two electric, the two uh, ones added to it, gives you, what is it, 1.8 megawatts? or mm -hmm. Yeah, 1.8 megawatts. And I think you get something like 600 kilowatts from six boilers. When you take away what's needed to run the boiler itself okay so it wasn't worth it and it was difficult to do as well it may have been i may have been getting odd results because the solar panel was being connected and disconnected and blah blah, blah. it was it was uh oh, yeah okay. so it's just it's just it's not it's not doable um at all it's not worth doing at all um, okay and i'd have to do far more. i said i just slapped it down very quickly and and uh may have not may have uh left solar panels in the system as well which would be throwing things off but yeah yeah all right so in order to make a rocket we need heat shielding we're making that we need low density structures we're making that we need rocket control units we're not making that and we need solid rocket fuel and that's for a rocket part right and we need a hundred rocket parts this is going to take a long time. A hundred rocket parts? Yeah, I believe it's a hundred rocket parts. Uh, one rocket part is one percent of a rocket. As far as I recall. So, can we see rocket parts in here somewhere? I don't think we can. No, I think that's what the... Uh... The rocket silo uses, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So I have a silo. But if you slap the silo down, it'll tell you what the uh, things are inside it. And, uh... Yeah, it's here. I'm standing right next to it. Okay, so yeah, so it's. Uh... It's a heat shield, low density structures. Rocket control units. Oh, oh yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, yeah, that, that and, produces one part. Yeah. Okay. And the rocket control unit takes. Up here. Oh wait, what? Hey, you can't sneak up on the other side of the base. That's not fair. Takes five advanced circuits, a processing unit, five batteries, five glass, and five iron plate for a rocket control unit. Where were they coming? Oh, They're over attacking there. the other side of the hill. That's not fair. Which means they were coming from the other side where the defenses aren't because they never come from that side before. No. Bad biters wrecking all our stuff. Yeah. Do you have a... pump? I can make a pump. That's okay. Where did they come from? anywhere they could have come from absolutely anywhere oh dear oh dear oh dear oh dear oh dear um yeah you're in troubles So, robots don't insert speed modules? No, I don't think so. Yeah. Okay. They're under 
katane ah oh. I don't have any cannon shells left <laughs> do, do I do I have any cannon shells on me I do no no right Yes. Down. So yeah, maybe maybe going just the utility science way then and getting artillery might help. I think that's maybe the easier yes. approach. Yeah, yeah. I didn't quite realise just how much is required to how many resources are required to launch a rocket. No. Which makes sense. Makes sense, but it's just the It does. Oh, damn, this is. Hey. Oh. Uh, come on. My, my, my brain seems to have shut down. be nice if I could remember where things are. It helps sometimes. It does sometimes. Most of the time. Like like cannon shells. I made somewhere where we're making explosives and uh, it used to be like, hey, this is the flashing things, but it's no longer the flashing things. Uh, uh. Which is a little strange to be honest with you, because I actually do have... No, I don't have cannon shells on my list. That's why the robots are not coming to pick up my stuff. Pick, give me stuff. Hey. Hey, explosive cannon shells. I would like to store 200 of them at all times. Come along, robots. Give me cannon shells. Do your thing. We have we have robots now. Here they come. Yay. It's very, very nice that we have that. Um... I built loads of them as well, so... So we actually need uh, to make. Oh, I should. I should. No, no, no should be well. a desired zero, but I can store up to a hundred. I don't want to actually. Don't don't bring me wood. I don't want wood. Ugh. Ah, and it would appear as if the robots also, uh, because I've requested the cannon shells, they're putting it into the tank because I'm in a tank. Oh. Nice. They're not actually putting it into my inventory. They're putting it into the tank. <laughs> well, that's pretty cool. Can you fire weapons while flying your, your jetpack? No. Damn it. I don't think so. No. You could be Rocket Man. Yeah. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. Just Fly over the enemy base. <laughs> <Just> pow, pow, pow. <laughs> yeah. That would be pretty cool. Uh, I want to manually fire the meteor defense cannon as well. That'd be quite nice. We just bombard them with that. Yeah. Meteor defense installation, meteor point cannon. What's the difference? Can defend an entire planet. And it's orbit from meteors. Oh. Oh. Nice. Draws twenty megawatts while charging. I don't do we do we need one of those? Probably not. We've got we've got a a meteor point defense. Yep. I suppose one could defend the whole planet. That wouldn't be terrible, but that would be pretty nice. But I don't think they have. Uh, I don't oh. think they're guaranteed to hit. They can shoot one down at a time. It says so. Hmm. 
Okay, where are these? These parts come from there. I can deal with that. That's probably a small base. Probably, perhaps, maybe. I'm going to move uh. this defensive line out a bit. Here. We're nowhere near getting nukes. I mean, I know rockets are good, but you can't build a rocket tank, which is annoying. And I don't really want to be on foot dealing with that many buyers. No. and I can't make more power poles. down to 30 hit points then. Ouch! That sounds dangerous. Yeah. I was driving through lots of uh, lots of spit and wasn't realising. Ah. There's all stuff up here that's been... Stop attacking the oil! Dag damn it! Stop attacking us, we don't like it anymore. No. We never really liked it in the first place, but... <laughs> no. We really didn't. But now we'd like it even less. The worms take like five or six shots to kill now. Jesus. With the tank ammo? Yeah. Jesus. That is... That is bad. I suppose we should go up to like uranium ammo or something, but again, need need oil for that. Yeah. And we take need five machines making this. Do it here. Stick a extra machine on the end. Then we can have flying robot frames being made for making robots as well. Just need to get, to get the stuff in for them, and the stuff is things. Uh, that's an interesting bite of base. 
poems. Literally just five poems. Okay. <laughs> Nothing else, just worms. That seems weird. I didn't plan. I, I did not plan to go just killing biters today. I was gonna. I was gonna build things and do stuff and get nuclear power going. Uh, but the constant attacks. Yeah. Your attacks up on us have not gone unnoticed. Nope. What's that? You're, you're no. in contravention of the new paradigm. You will be destroyed. Which is a quote from a very old game. What game? Warzone 2100. Never heard of it. Awesome strategy game. Okay. Did the whole three? Uh, you know when Tiberian Sun came out? Not Tiberian Sun. Uh, yeah, Tiberian Sun came out, and it was it was three D, but not three D. Yeah. Um, Warzone twenty one hundred was the same, but was actually three D. You could you could zoom down onto the things, onto oh. the uh, units. Um, but also you could build when you you researched like a track and then a, a body and then a turret for your tanks. Mm -hmm. So you could mix and match and make your own units how you wanted to do. Oh. So you might have really fast laser hover units and then really heavy tracked mega cannon units, you know, that sort of thing. Okay. That sounds pretty cool. Oh, there are a lot of people basically. It's a very good game. Very good game. It's uh, open source as well, man. It's, uh... Oh, wow. Yeah, very good nice. game. Highly recommend for anyone who doesn't and likes strategy games. Warzone 2100. Free. You can get it free now. Oh, cool. Brilliant game. The nice. computer cheats through, through, through the nose, but, you know... Yeah. Part and package for games that were that old, the computer always did cheat a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, it has this. It, it knows exactly where all the resources are on the map, uh, so you yeah, might yeah, expand yeah. from your base and then find that it's already claimed some of the resources behind you. You're like, oh, yeah. how did you know that was there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. So. Okay. Let's come out over there a little bit and have a look. See. Um, then I may um, go and have a look. I mean, we don't need to defend the train line so much today because biters don't really attack trains unless they're stationary. True. So uh, we could run a train line over to where the oil is and then maybe have a look, see if I could die. I just, I just feel like if an attack came in from a base of that size, uh, it doesn't matter how many rows of laser turrets we have, <laughs> it's not going to survive. Probably not, no. Line along there. I have to deal with those there. That's easy enough about here somewhere and then pump the oil but that uh, I, I feel like building building that oil the, uh, thing right on the very left hand side would cause me to become under attack probably yeah um, but we need it we need the oil we do indeed the biters have oils we must give them freedom yep very <laughs> <laughs> Real world. <laughs> you have oil. We bring you freedom. <laughs> yep. But um, <laughs> we're, we're happy. We're here to save our country. Absolutely, we're here to save your country. We're not just here for the oil. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, what kind of maniac would just attack a country for oil? I mean, yeah. Crazy, right? Mm. Crazy. It's a good job we human beings are far. Far smarter to to not go to war uh, yep. over resources that are wrecking our planet, you know. Yep. Which is easy enough to say whilst I'm sat here in my chair and you know. And um, yeah. I know, I know, I know. It's not quite that easy in the actual world. All these, all these uh, 
all these people being like, hey, we should stop using oil. And and the alternative is... Yeah. Right now, right now, tomorrow, what could I possibly do that would be oil? And don't say electric cars because they need oil to make them. So... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But anyway, let's not get political, because that would be bad. Yeah. Uh, and uh, let's end the episode here, because we've run out of time. Have we? We have. Okay. Well, in that case, I suppose we should end the episode here. Yeah. And we'll have to come back next time and uh, save the day then. So, yeah. in that case, thank you all very much for watching. We hope you have enjoyed this one. And we hope to see you again in the next one. Until then, as always, have fun. Bye-bye.